This is the FM Gold Channel of All India Radio. In the program Spotlight, we now bring you a discussion on coronavirus and preventive measures. The participants are Dr. A. K. Varshney from Ram Manohar Loya Hospital and Chetan Chauhan, journalist. Dr. Varshney, the first thing the our listeners would like to know: what is this novel coronavirus? The coronavirus is a old virus. and uh, almost 10% patient of respiratory illness suffers from the disease caused by the corona virus but whenever the virus has the unique property they go on changing their antigenic character so when the any virus which appears with a new antigenic character it is known as the novel virus the new virus so this time this virus corona virus has the novel character so they have named it novel corona virus and it derives its name because it if you see in the electron microscope its its structure have a crown like structure so that is the term corona virus and uh, does this virus because there have been reports that it uh, originates from wild animals yes. and in yuhan this virus actually is a zoonotic disease so that means the virus is found in the animals and when the person who are coming in contact with the animal either they are handling the animal or they are eating the animal So they can get the virus. This times possibility, though they have not confirmed, they have found that it originated in a Wuhan city in the China, where there is a animal market, and there the they suspect that it has come possibly from the bat. And some reports have come that maybe it is the snake because the antigenic character of this virus they have identified, which is closely resembles the virus which has been found in the bat. So possibly, but though they have not confirmed yet. it has come from the animal sources oh, and the how the it is spread to the human being is still don't know but it originated from that market where they are dealing with the animal product live animal product as well as the animal meat so possibility that virus has come from you know our listeners would like to know two main things first is what are the symptoms and is it contagious it can spread from humans to human without even contact yes this is the symptom is just like a ordinary common cold patient which we almost every one of us must have felt in our life time mild fever cough running nose throat pain myalgia body ache headache these are the common symptoms sometimes in the children they may have we have diarrhea or vomiting otherwise symptom is just like a common cold which most of us have only thing is sometime this virus from the upper respiratory tract what we known as the nasal no nose or pharynx it percolates down to the lungs and then it causes the bilateral pneumonia and then patient may become serious because at that time oxygen level goes down patient is hypoxia and they will require the ventilatory support to maintain the oxygen level and then the secondary infection can occur patient can have septicemia so patient can die because of the either the sepsis or hypoxia but is it uh, curable most of the time as you say already said that 7000 patient has been found positive in the china city and 106 deaths are there so you can see most of the patient have recovered okay. with the, their illness but still there is a sufficient 2 to 3% death has been reported which is significant death and treatment unfortunately there is no antiviral medication for this virus there is no vaccine to prevent the virus so treatment is supportive treatment what we normally give the some analgesic and fluid and for the respiratory failure we have to support with the ventilator till the patient recovers many times the patient recover but sometimes as i have told the sepsis occur and the multi organ dysfunction occur then the patient succumbs to the most of the those patient those who are having the very immune weak system the patient who are diabetic patient who are the kidney patient who are the hiv patient the patient who are taking the steroid medicine or immunosuppressant medicine for any disease similarly the very young children or very old person who has the generally very weak immune system they are more likely to succumb to the illness in india also many cities many states even your hospital had some suspected cases of corona virus so what are the steps the government of india has taken yes you are right there the very beginning the news spread that the virus has spread into the wuhan and other city of the china in the some process then the all the because now the you can say ke our whole world has become a global blaze every day people are migrating and they international travel so definitely there is chances that they may bring the virus to here so government as a preventive measure has made the mandatory screening at the 16 
international airport where the flights from the China are coming and almost more than 30,000 patients has been screened and few patients or 15-17 patients were possibly were suspicious so they were quarantined and they were sent the report to the National Institute of Virology Pune. 14 of these reports have come the negative. Three reports are still awaited so no positive report. As you have rightly said in our hospital Ramanulavi hospital we are having three patients suspected which we have quarantined and the send the report for the uh, virology lab for confirmation. So far, we are not, the report has not come. But still, we are, they are we can under watch. And maybe uh, more people who are coming uh, from the China flights, the government has given the instruction that at every airport, there are the thermal scanner, which we can see if any patient has the fever. Or the, there is a information campaign that any patient who is feeling, who is coming to the China and they are having the fever, running nose, breathlessness, or any discomfort, they should go to the doctor, report them and may should get their screening. This uh, why you know the scare for coronavirus though in the past like SARS and other viruses have also infected a large number of people leading to deaths. So why there is such a scare for corona? Look, as far as the SARS virus is again a coronavirus I am telling. The SARS virus is corona SARS and again there were Middle East respiratory syndrome that was again a coronavirus. So this is again a third coronavirus which has changed its symptom. And as far as we compare with the SARS, it is less lethal than the SARS. SARS was more lethal but it is more contagious. It has spreading from the human to human being through the respiratory tract. Because any patient who is having the sneezing and coughing, the virus comes into the droplet, closes the nearby, or the patient who touches his nose, any patient who is coughing touches his nose, and then he touches someone. So virus can go to the other person's body. And if they have the weakened system, they can get the infection. So any patient who is having coughing, they should cough in a handkerchief or some tissue paper, or if they are not away, they can cough in their elbow, and they should be isolated. It is better for the, any patient because it is very difficult if the patient is coming to the crowded place. Just like suppose a school child has coming to the school or we are any person going to the mall or cinema hall where there is a large crowd. So it is very difficult to prevent the spread of the virus. So we are advising that any patient who are having the respiratory symptoms, they should isolate themselves. They, and those person who are coming their contact, they should possibly wear a mask. They should not touch them. They should, and hand hygiene. When you are coughing and then properly wash your hand, regularly wash your hand or you can use the alcohol based sanitizer you can keep anytime when you are coughing or sneezing then you can clean your hand. So cleaning your hand, preventing the taking the precaution for the coughing and use the mask or the tissue paper and don't come into close of the other person if you are infected person. These are the possible mechanisms by which we can prevent the spread of the virus because it is a rapidly spreading virus and spread through the air. So it is very difficult to prevent the spread for the patient if it is coming to the close contact of other person. No, many of our listeners would also like to know, is there any toll-free number, contact number in case they detect or feel that they may have the virus yes, or yes, similar yes. symptoms? This is a very good question and government uh, has made a one toll free number. At the, it has been provided at the National Community NCDC Center and this is approachable. This is, you can take the uh, phone number and uh, for the listener benefit, I can tell this number 011 is the code number and 2397-8046. It is NCDC center. It is 24 into 7 around the working. Any patient who is having any, want to any information, they can get there. And then they will direct to the district state surveillance officer of that area to contact further for any clarification on any of the these symptoms. This was also this news that uh, this virus peaks for 7 days, then they will be declined. So the possibility of it rising in the next seven days is very high, then there would be a decline. The virus has the incubation period of 14 days. So any person who has come from the China, if they are having symptoms, they are potentially, they can infect up to the 14 days. So for 14 days, you have to prevent those person who are coming from the China and they are having some symptoms. Government has made mandatory to quarantine for these person for 14 days because during this period of time, they can spread the virus to the other person if they are positive. 
for the water. So what in, what is the process for uh, quarantining? Can it be done at home or it can only be done at... Uh, government hospital? has made mandatory at the airport and the hospitals at the moment. They have not advised a home quarantine. At the any patient who is, who is suspected, if they are having the symptom after the screen, not that every patient, who, every person who is coming from the China will be quarantined. Only those person who are possibly having some infect, symptoms, they will be quarantined either at the airport they have quarantine center or in our hospital and other hospitals of the Delhi and similarly many hospitals in other places of the country, they have made the provision to isolate these patients for a period of 14 days. So, quarantining is basically isolating a person? Uh, isolating. Of... Basically, it is isolating and monitoring and observation and if required, then the investigation and the proper treatment also. So, uh, the spread of these viruses, apart from the SARS was different coronaviruses, so why is it because the detection of viruses have become very easy, now the medical science has improved so much, the detection uh, definitely is much easier we, or the spread has become yeah, Definitely, because uh, nowadays uh, we should uh, definitely Congress to China because very onset of the symptoms, they could identify what is the virus and possibly what is the source of the virus and uh, they have taken many measures. They have controlled the, restricted the transport, they have made the person isolated in there because they have not quarantined. They have made the transport or the here and there going difficult. So they have banned all the international travel, travel on the transport or the metro and possibly they will like to contain in the throw virus because in the earlier SARS experience, they have a more casualty at that time. So now they want to contain the virus rapidly and they have to take adequate measure. Further, definitely there is a lot of media also because electronic media is there, print media is there, awareness of the patient is there, government are, every government, possibly all the world government has making them more informative. So that way information is coming because that is the way we can possibly can help contain the disease. But I will request that we should not panic it. Information is good, but there is no need of panic from the virus. At the moment in our country, there is no positive case, but definitely we should keep ourselves safe. So is the one question which is the worst because so the news has been there for the last 8-10 days. Is the worst for uh, novel coronavirus over or still there is a chance that it may still... It, uh, still, still we cannot say because uh, every day there are more cases has been reported from the China and uh, they are having a suspected cases of almost 1 lakh person are possibly suspected but uh, only found 6-7 thousand percent positive and unfortunately 106 patient has died. WHO is taking the cognizance of the disease but still they have not declared as a global epidemic. It is an epidemic in the China, but they have not declared as a global epidemic. But they have advised all the country to have the monitoring system in place. Uh, quarantine surveillance system is placed, quarantine system placed and info, dissemination of the information to the general public at large so that uh, they are aware of the disease and they can prevent possibly from the infection of the virus from one person to another person. Dr. Vashne, though the WHO has not so far declared it as a global epidemic, but in what circumstances does WHO declare any disease as a global epidemic? It's on the deaths or the spread of the disease? It is on the spread of the disease. Just say, as you, you remember, when the H1N1 influenza came, what we popularly know as swine influenza, in a very short time, almost 180 countries were affected. Then they declared it is a global epidemic. So they have their own uh, system mechanism. Still, it is contained for few, only few country has the virus there and positivity, and one or two cases are positive. Mostly, it is the disease contained in the China itself. So once the disease is contained in a one or two country only, then they are, do not declare as epidemic. So do you also think that China in the last uh, many 10-15 days because they have built in the record time of maybe 3 days or 4 days a uh, thousand bedded hospital especially for coronavirus they have taken do you think they have enough steps to contain the disease within Wuhan not enabling <coughs> to spread it across the country because the China is a huge country The report which we are getting possibly they are doing the best possible measure to contain the disease to restrict the movement of the patient to make the patient aware because unfortunately there is no treatment available because there is no antiviral medication or no vaccination. So that method of prevention cannot work. Only method can be work is prevent the human to human contact, human to human transmission. Thanks a lot, Dr. Vashne. Thank you. You were listening to a discussion on coronavirus and preventive measures. The participants were Dr. A.K. Varshne from Ram Manohar Loya Hospital and Chetan Chauhan, journalist. This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. This program is also available on our website newsonair.com. 
You can also follow us on the News on AIR app for updates. You may email your opinion about this program at airnsdtalks at gmail.com.